Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a crazy episode of Farming Simulator 17. Don't know if you saw the previous little oh, little episode in between the last one and this one to kind of explain what you're seeing right there. Hopefully that episode came out and it worked and, and rendered fine and actually got uploaded. Otherwise, you were probably wondering, what the heck? But, uh... After I shut down last episode, after this rig had tipped over, uh, shut down the game, started the game up again, as it reloaded, it spilled them out, but they were still attached to the straps. I'm curious what's going to happen when I undo those straps. I'm afraid they're all going to spill out and onto the ground there. Kind of not willing to let that happen. Hmm. Tell you what. Let's hop out of here, grab the Manitou, and put some pressure on those, some side pressure. And then give that a try. See if it's possible to keep them inside of the bed there. So how do I want to do that? I want to flip this guy all the way like so, I'm thinking. Oh, no, that's not the way I want to do it. So I can actually funnel it if I do it this way. Like so. Up. Let's see, I need to get center, though. Yeah. More like that. Now, I could also tip the whole tractor kind of clockwise a little bit so that they're actually over the load again, but that could send it all reeling the other direction. You know how the physics are. They're, they're so realistic. Now, if I were to do that, and then release it. They should all hit and bounce and ricochet and land in that slot over there. What do you think? Taking bets? Let's hop back in here, and where's my best angle? I guess there. L should release it, right? No. Okay. Um, what did I just hit there? There we go. Um, start engine. Oh, okay. Let's get back to the rear attachment. There we go. Now L will unfasten engine belts. You ready? Crash, bang, boom. Lock them all back in again. All right. I'm going to leave that one over there as a, as a memento of our, uh, of our situation here and am I free? I am. Let's get this thing over to the train yard before anything else goes wrong. <laughs> Pop in cab. Oh, slow it down. We have weight issues. Take the corner slow. <laughs> I could just take it overland right there and and uh Get there much quicker. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of trim corners here a little bit and take these turns nice and wide and sweeping. Oh, uh, we got a pole over there. No, nope, can't cut that one. Clear and clear. I haven't touched the accelerator in quite a while. It's been uh, just dropping downhill. Now, how do I get over there? Can I do that from here? Yeah, there is a side road. Okay. I could also go right through there, but I might snag a log on one of those edges. No, there isn't a side road. We're just going to make one. Ten miles an hour. A little bumpy in here. Let's hop out here so I can see how everything's interacting. So I've got to use the crane to unload this into there. I'm not really sure how to do this. Think about this for a while. We didn't do this before. We did grain last time. I've got to kind of drive into this gap, right? How do you do this? Okay, I'm missing something here. Let me... hop over here and stare at this a bit. In fact, let's go over here and do it. Can I interact there? Yeah. Zoom out. Now, the idea is that, let's see, up, down, right, left, 
there. This guy... Almost acts like he just transfers from that train to this train. But how do you get it into one of the trains to begin with? You know, I've never actually pondered that before. Let's take a train ride. We're not in the train. Uh, where am I? Come on, let go of me. All right. Let's go look at this track. I haven't driven this in quite some time. I don't remember any kind of a loading point other than here in the sawmill. So what am I not understanding here? We park it under this bridge and start flinging them off? How do you load this thing? Unless you do it with some kind of a of a telehandler and transfer from the truck into here. But I really thought there'd be some way to use that crane. Interesting. Let's kick the speed all the way up. If we do find a spot, we're not going to stop for it anyway. We're just going to figure out what's going on. But there shouldn't be anything on this loop that has anything to do with logs. Will it map for us? It won't. Will it nine? Yeah. So we're taking, you can see us up there at the top left, top right. We're going down this run here, around basically the east side of the map. There's no logging out here. I've never noticed these before. Or I guess I have. I just forgot about them. Yeah. Nothing here for, for logging. Here's the uh, train bridge that goes over our place. We're right over there. speed maxed out. With this downhill, we should coast right into the station just fine. A lot of weight back there. And can I get back far enough? How many grain cars do we have? I'm thinking it's... Oh, it's just one, isn't it? Well, maybe some of the other ones will act as grain cars, even though they're a different shape. We have two kinds of grain we want to transport. And we're coming into the station here, right? He's right after this bend. No, another bend. We're able to see the map from here. Alright, start slowing it down. There it is. Tempted to hit the space bar. That's the emergency brake and tracks the, uh, the train set game. <laughs> Let's stop it right there. All right. Pop out of you. Let's run down to this one. Run this loop. So this station is meant to transfer logs from one train to the other. But there's no sense of how they got into that train to begin with. So it must be that we're manually loading the train. It must be. Right from where we are uh, cutting the logs. Could be. In which case, I may need to drive that train one more time and see which forest areas that it comes in contact with. And then maybe we'll just drive the, uh, the logs we've got over to the sawmill and dump them and do one more episode loading up a train instead. I really thought there was a loading point somehow. I would be able to, to uh, use that, that transfer station back there as a way to load this train wrong. Now we could probably load it from... No, we couldn't. I was going to say we can load it from the sawmill, just uh, drive it around the loop one time and bring it back to the sawmill, but even then uh, I think you have a drop-off point kind of right in the area of where the crane works, so you'll just end up dropping them off and selling them instead of transferring them. Huh... is here. Uh, we'll stop. Yeah, you could kind of put the truck over there by the staircase going up. And then load up the the, uh, the, the claw up there and drop them into the train. 
but there's no point in that because this is where you actually sell it. Interesting. Well, I learned something. I've never actually tried this before. Something I've wanted to do. It's always been on the bucket list, but it's never come up enough to where I've gone through the practicality of how you do it. Okay, well, now we know. We'll drive the vehicles over, sell the logs, and let's drive the train, the other train. Let's see, map again. This track did not go through any kind of a forested area. Looking at the pathway there, it didn't. So, slowing down here. Let's leave these uh, log cars here where it's easy to get to the crane. There's one. There's just one of them. Okay. Alright, let's stop it right there. And... Nine. Actually, let's pop into this one. We're forced to here. This track goes through here. So, we have a forest there. We have a forest here. It is nowhere near a forest either. Neither of them are. So, they really want you to drive your trucks over to some place and take them back out with a Manitou or some other logging claw that doesn't grip them well at all and transfer them successfully into the train to drive over and do that. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, it's just not made for it. If you guys know how best to do that, let me know. Otherwise, let's see, I'm going to go back a few, and I think we're just going to drive over and sell them. There's still a few episodes to go before this series is over, so if you do know of a good way to do that, leave some uh, leave some tips in the comment for me, comment section. And uh, if you know of a spot on this map where there are a lot of trees close enough, like this kind of an area, that it would work, then... No, I definitely want to try it. But I don't see spending the next 40 minutes trying to pinch that top log there unsuccessfully. Don't you be tipping on me trying to uh, get it into that claw right there. Oh, -ho! and uh, get in the cab. No, I think I want out here. I kind of want to see the whole thing just to make that transfer and still take two three episodes to make it happen doesn't sound like a lot of fun to watch neither just watching this guy wiggle back and forth because of the way it steers there is it is it's not as bad in the cab 12 miles an hour we do want to do well, we'll debate whether to do another sugar beet harvest. We do have the equipment, but we could do... In fact, we probably will be doing some of that in the South American map coming up, or Central American map, or whatever it is that's coming with the Platinum Edition. Just have a feeling that uh, that's one of the crops that will be predominant there. All right. Nice and slow. Let's get this guy out to the sawmill. Then we'll come back and grab the the, uh, the Voltra S series over there, attached to the IT runner, and bring him in as well. Then that one log that's sitting in our field over there, maybe we'll make firewood of that. <laughs> Stack it up somewhere. Now I'm going to be backing up traffic, aren't I? Wish I could remember which button was the beacons. I don't see a beacon on this guy. No, they don't. It's probably not really meant to be on the road. I don't see any lights either. Just that. So no brake lights. Nope, no brake lights. Hmm. So I can't even use emergency flashers. Hill swing issue there. Yeah, 
Pay attention to your driving level. She probably should be. Um, let's see, I want to go up, right? Probably should be flattened more like this so I don't catch anything that's, uh, you know, any, any low wires or anything. It's probably a little bit closer to a trans Whoa! transport uh, position. Let's get back on the road here. <laughs> All right, there's a sawmill out past the rooftop here. We're getting there. No one behind us. Now, I make more money, if I recall, if you actually drop it into the water over there. I think we will just dump these guys quickly. And we'll, with the other setup, we'll take that back all the way into the water. This guy... Oh, never mind. I was thinking I would take it into there and just sell it best sell point, but you can't get there from here. Yeah, you've got to go around. Yeah, 13, 12, 11, 10, 7 miles an hour. 7 miles an hour, yeah. With the tail, tail wag going on. Turns clear, it's clear. It's mine. Alright, so that pile right there in the center and rear is where you sell the, uh, the wood chips. Too bad this isn't more of a working sawmill. You couldn't drop them off on here. Actually, work the sawmill over here with the uh, equipment and and uh, pick up the logs and set them in there and, and let them run into the sawmill. That would be a fun mod to come across. All right, so you can sell these just by doing this. L. Am I wrong? It doesn't want it on here. It wants it unloaded. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something went away there. Let's try that again. No. It, it managed to steal a few of them from us, but he wants it unloaded. Okay. You asked for it. You up. You open. Can I snag anything? Yeah. Back up. Come on, I'm trying to open you. There you go. It's all a little delayed. Okay, just kind of bounce it a while. Closing the claws is not going to do it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. It might there. Close this clause some more. Bounce those two next to each other. Now we're just going to get one. Yeah. That's as close as I can get, too, so I can't really get to the center. Well, I can, yeah. I guess if I had done... Actually, you just stay right there. There. If I had used right mouse button, and there it is, up and down. Now I can kind of slide this guy. I open a little. There. And... Well, nope, that was the wrong one. Okay, so that's more of center log right there. Rotate you, drop you down, close, down, close, and up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now this is going to be very painful one at a time. I still can't quite get to center, huh? There you go. Yeah, that's going to drive me nuts. i got to try one more time. Let's drive into there. 
Now, on the flatbed trailer driving him through, we just drove into here, and as soon as he unstrapped him, they all disappeared. I'm surprised that they're... There must be something to do with the, the code associated with this vehicle. It must be. Now, if I were to just start lifting them and dropping them, would that be enough to... to cause it to interact? I do that and, and let go. No, it is not going to do it. I could tip it over. We've done that before. <laughs> okay, let's just get to work then. Wow. I'm sure it's all uh, operator error here. That's what I want to do. Bring you this way. I'm going to have to do it from this direction though. Right, this maybe I can do it in cab. Control B. Let's shift our seat around here. All right. Look at the force in front of us. GPS. No, I really can't. Uh, I, I can't see. All right, from this angle. All right, that's a little better. Up. Over. Up. I see we're into, into that guy. Okay, can I make it work anyway? Yeah, I can. All right, up. And pivot something like that. Unfortunately, though, I cannot lower my view to see where I'm at. Right there. Open. All right. Now, I want to pivot this guy down and get much closer to center. More like that. I'm almost tempted to find some way to just to floor it and slide all the logs out the back end. There isn't any kind of a tip mode in this, is there? Wait a minute here. Never, you know, dump truck style? Um, let's see here. Camera. What's this look like? Now, that is rock solid. Bolted down. There's your leaf springs. Right there's your... I see. Right down there, it's the pivot point has a shock on both sides. Hydraulic uh, ram, and that's what drives the back end um, this way or that way. They pull on those shocks right down there in between. I love the animations of this game. Don't really love the physics so much, but the animations are amazing. Alright, so back in here, and I'm going to stay outside, but from this perspective. I think I'll have the best chance of making this happen. Hopefully the other vehicle will be able to drive into the water. I'm going to try it. Just got to try. Alright, up. Um, out down right there all right let's find out if this guy will drive back far enough for the logs to start disappearing on their own now, there isn't a yellow hitbox here we're just going to assume that well there is an idea floor it ah <laughs> that's how you do it okay that's much less painful all right, now for transport on this guy without logs, I'm going to say we're going to do something like this. Uh, pivot him down. We're going to rotate you like so. And like that. Nope, nope, nope. Like that. And... Trying to get it just right. That's what it is. Pivot you in. And then take you... Oh, this is painful. There, that's what I want. All right, now take you down. Right there. And now close the claws. Didn't quite do what I was trying to do. I wanted to clamp onto that, but now it's... A lot easier said than done. Let's just bury you down into it. 
right there. All right. What's my timing like? You know, to save you guys having to watch me drive it anywhere from between 7 and 14 miles an hour, I'm going to park this guy over here. Right there. And alt tab back to this guy. All right. So this failed. I still want to make, I still want to do something with this though while we're in this map. I got to get this thing successfully back onto a road. I'm not going to do that. I, mean, I could attempt to drive it down in between and just load it up. It's not what it was meant to do, but we could try. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? Actually, I want to get that as parallel as I can. Or perpendicular as I can. Shouldn't get any side wobble that way, but I don't know that I can make this turn. I can't. Okay, I'm going to have to go at an angle. Unless I do it out over here where I've got more room to make the turn. There's no train on the other side. Okay, let's do that. Alright. Perpendicular. Yeah, not well, I'll tell you what, I could do this and back it in. Okay, that's that's doable. Kind of. There we go. Hello, tree. Okay, you check your mirrors in there. Just be shooting this one blind. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. Go that way. That's feeling pretty good. Now, where's the best place to do this? I mean, I'm thinking right alongside the other one, but that's a lot of claw to try to fit between two vehicles. Let's see how close I can get it to the tracks over here. That. Let's do that. Um, L should release it. There we go. Turn you off. Jump out. Grab. Where is that point? It's through here. Right there. Let's see if this is even a thing. Hogs are quivering down there in anticipation. <laughs> All right. Well, the, the lining up did pretty good, though. Let's go back just a little bit. That's pretty close to center. Now, how many can I grip at once? No, 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 no. Back this way. Back that way. Okay. So let's go down just a touch more. Right there, we're touching. Alright, close is up. Nope, close is down. Alright, open again. Up. Up, okay. Down. A little further this time. And now close down. Okay. This thing can handle so much more weight. Just tell. Okay. Keep wanting to go side to side, but that's not it. It's up and down, go sideways from here. That's what I want. Okay. Straight up. See, this is what I was hoping I'd be able to do, but I wanted this crane. Let's see. Clamp you tighter. I wanted this crane to extend out here. Really, I was really surprised when uh, there wasn't a way to do that. All right. So. Why am I still interacting with it when... I guess there was a shadow that moved. So to move sideways, I have to move my mouse up and down. Like that. Or 
good there. We're good. Yeah, a little more there. Front and back, we're okay. Um, let's actually go back a little bit. Catch those three. All right. So both and up releases. Just like that. Okay, good. Nope, not side to side. It's this way. This way it makes sense. I'm moving my mouse up and it fits this. It works this way. All right, so, but you can't tell your depth. All right. So up goes that way. And back and forth would be this direction. But only from here. Okay, so it's meant to be done from here. It's meant to be done from that control box. Oh, C. Oh. Oh, yeah, that makes much more sense. I can make that work. Okay. I forgot about the control box. There. Let's put you out about like that. Drop you down further. Nope, got to go that way quite a bit more. There it is. Alright, we just made contact. Alright, pull down to close. Pull as far as I can. And kind of shake it around a little bit. Alright, got it. Ah, up in the air. We're clear. And I want to head this way. Boy, I cannot see where I'm going. I can't change my view, can I? Not really. Now I'm out here again. Yep, too far. Right there. Looks pretty good. Here. Looks pretty good. What's it look like from inside here when I release? Probably not that impressive. Well, that worked. Everything stayed in? Yep. Okay. Let's go back in and grab the last of them. And down. Missed it completely. <laughs> it looked like it was too far, but I thought it would change my mind as it got closer to it. Like that. That's actually too close to me. But over here, it looks like it's too far that way. Right there. Now, I might grab the trailer. We'll see. Close you guys up. As far as it'll go. Oh, yeah. And I've got the trailer, don't I? I do. I bounce back and forth for a while. Will you release it? There. Now I think you're released. No, you're not. You're going to fling that truck up into space, aren't you? Oh! There we go. Oh, we're trying to lose the bottom. Pull you down. Close the claw. All right. Hop out. From this perspective, it's down. A little further. It's about to drop. There. There. And drop it. Gotcha. All right. Let's park you up a little higher. As high as you go. Okay. Hop out of there. Hmm. I'm just going to do the jump thing and try to get out, but it didn't work as well as, as it did in my head. And <laughs> off we go. <laughs> no, not off we go. Um, let's do this. Let's load up that green. We'll do both on this trip. That was original intent anyway. So pull out like this. Rain car, I assume, is this blue one. And would that be considered two blue ones? Two compartments? Back up a little, right there. Now, is that open in between? It is not. So I'm thinking we have two rain cars here. Alright, R? It worked. 
Um, we went for sunflower. Start. Good. But there's only one count over there. We had like 35,000, right? Something like that. I was expecting two bars, one for each of these. Oh, it's spilling into both. So it is considered one. Okay. Alright, you're done. 3,400. Now, ah, uh, this is the second one here. Okay, that's what I needed to know. R, and switch over to soybeans and start. There we go. And then this one possibly would act as a third one. I don't know. This is one that I was hoping I could put wood chips in, but I don't believe there's any way to do it. When this finishes, we'll check something. Should be right about now. Um, R? Not gonna army, huh? Oh. Well, okay, let's do this. Let's go to here. Is it not gonna do R now because it knows I don't have anything else? Yep, I could... Oh, there it is. Stop. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Is there wood chips in this, or is it just the six? It's just the six. Okay. All right, then. Well, we've got our grains, we've got our logs. Not as, as impressive as I was hoping this would be. We've still got a, was a lot of scrolling to do to get in there. We've still got a fairly impressive load, enough to, to show how it all works. Well, I'm a little concerned about the, uh, um, the physics here. Yeah, I'm gonna slow down a bit. Oh, they're all scooting forward. And there wasn't any kind of a strap down in here, was there? There's not. Okay, we just gotta get there. Yep, they're doing some sliding. And that one on top, that little one, is the one I'm mostly concerned with. Right there. Well, it's not doing that bad a job. Yeah. Look at the green in the bark. Like, uh, moss in there. The bark's missing on other ones. This looks like a, you know, a tree that's been limbed and... You know, I'm talking. We didn't pass by something. We, no, it's coming up. But, good graphics there. I like the way they do their logs. It looks... looks pretty real to... A lodgepole pine freshly cut out of the forest. Here's our stop. Let's pull out to the green cars. Where am I going to get a view of this? Alright, stopping. Almost. I believe it's right about there. So, R? No. What drain, what, what dumps it? Unload his eye. Okay. There goes the sunflower. Boy, that was fast. Alright, let's pull these guys in. Right there, I. Well over a million dollars again. Okay, so we'll drop off these logs. And I'm willing to say this is a... Whoa, we're losing one. <laughs> An almost successful end to a, a pretty chaotic experiment. <laughs> Alright, 40 miles an hour around this corner. Hit the brakes! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, back up just a touch. That's good. Okay. Whew. I'm stressed out. Now, where is that? Okay, see if I can jump through here. Almost got stuck. Grab this one. Jump in the cab. 
And let's head off in this direction. Right in there. And the cell point is right there in the dirt. Just see the edge of it there. Where's the other edge? Right there. Okay, so here we're centered. Okay, but that's not centered. Alright, you go out there and you drop in. Let's open you. Like so. I don't know that I'm going to straddle all that. Let's grab that end first. Where are you at? Nope, you're not outside of it yet. Nope, well, I got a long way to go. Okay, where am I? And let's get off that thing, okay. Alright, I gotta see this. Oh, we're there. Okay. Open. Move. That way, okay. Now, close and drop. And close and drop. And close and you're not willing to drop anymore. No, you're just not willing to. And I got one. Alright, not acceptable. Let's open up and go this way a little bit more. Right there. Alright, try again. You'd think this could span the... You know, maybe it can span the whole thing. Let's bring you back like so. And open up further. That is. And drop you in. There we go. That feels better. Now, what are you going to do with it? It's both and down? Yeah. Now go down further. That's as down as it's going to go. So just close the claw and drop everything. Where is up? Up is that way. Well, it held on to a lot of it. All right. Back in here. So the controls make sense. Out over here. And look down there. If I just hit the ground, does it disappear? It does. Okay. Open. Let's try this again from this point of view only. So I'm thinking we got to go further. And then drop in. That looks good. Down as low as you'll go. Clamp it. Alright, I think we've got all we're going to get. You back up. We're losing pieces in there. That's far enough. Pull in toward me really quick. We're selling them as we're dropping them. And this time we'll just let it fly. Ha ha ha. Alright, back in again. Now these prices, I'm guessing... I'm not sure about that. It's not in the water, so it should not be as good unless they're giving us water prices for here for going to the effort. Uh, that would make sense to me. All right. Close you up. We're going to leave one behind there. I wonder if you'll go along for the ride. Okay, we're closed as far and tight as I can make it. Let's go up just enough. No, we lost him anyway. Alright, we're clear. And we're losing another one. So, this way, he didn't sell. Alright, let's see if we can salvage that. There. Ah, uh, we got to get as close to the middle as we can. So, drop down. Where are you? Let's go that way. Alright, down. 
Okay, I'm clear of all that. As I close it, I'm going to grab the train car too, I think. Yeah. So up a little bit. Close. Up. Close. Ah, gotcha. All right. From here. Nope. Let's try the up first. Let's try the other up. And then to us. And down. There it is. <sighs> All right. It was fun and exhausting at the same time. And almost $1.1 million again. Let's go park this guy and call it a day. What's next? Pull up my notes here while we're driving. I don't have to worry about steering this time. I can't hit a signpost now. Um, logging. So potatoes, poplars, maybe one more peek at greenhouses. I only got as far as the bees last time. We do have over a million dollars again, so maybe we'll, we will look at some of the uh, like solar power or something. Um, grain from the train is done. So potatoes, poplars, probably harvesting the corn. So those last fields that we planted, whoa, we're here. Those last fields that we planted probably need to be harvested, and then we'll, maybe the very last thing we'll do in the whole series is pick up that bale <laughs> that's been here all this time. <laughs> Let's head over maybe as far as here. Give us a consequence for not navigating that road properly. There we go. And we'll call it done. So, this has been... There I am, Noble Rambler. Actually, if I get up... now, Where can I go so that my little symbol, my little uh, icon won't... Well, I guess I'm just going to be covered no matter what. All right, it's been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.